guys, it's Di, and I'm very excited to be sharing my dressing room with you guys today. Now, I actually call this room a lot of different things. I call it the purse room, the filming room, the dressing room. It's really kind of a little bit of everything. I am actually having a personalized sign made for over here on the wall, and I'm having Bubbles Boudoir put on it because it's really kind of just an all-encompassing name, but I'm really enjoying having this room for all of my kind of girl necessities, and so I'm going to be giving you a tour today. I'm very, very excited about finally being able to show you the room. We moved here to the house in October, and then with just getting moved in and getting settled and the holidays and everything, I really haven't felt like it was really to a point where I could show it uh, until recently. So I finally got just kind of the final few touches put up that I wanted to, so I thought I'd show the room to you today. Very, very excited. And this is where you'll see a lot of my filming from now on, doing my reviews and things like that, because I am planning on using this as kind of like my filming room also and that sort of thing. So first of all, let me tell you what I have in this room. Room. I have a purse storage cabinet over here, or display cabinet I should say, where I kind of store a lot of my handbags and also I display them to be able to enjoy them. Now they don't actually all fit in this cabinet and as you kind of look around the room you'll, you'll see and you'll realize also that the room is really not big enough to have a lot of different cabinets. I really wasn't wanting that like floor to ceiling cabinet look. Um, that's just not what I wanted at this point. At uh, some point in the future I may change my mind but I really wanted this to be more of like a dressing room type of look and also be able to be double function. So this chair that I bought that actually just arrived a few days ago go pulls out into a twin size bed so I thought it'd be great to also be able to use this room for extra like sleeping space whenever we have guests here for large family functions if we're hosting a holiday and that sort of thing. I wanted this room to be as functional as possible and also be able to do the things that I wanted to do on an everyday basis. So I have my makeup vanity here behind uh, where the camera is and I do my makeup in here every single day. I have all of my purses in here so I find changing my purses out and that sort of thing, I do that in here as well. I do store a number of my perfumes in here. I do have some in our master bedroom, and I do also have my jewelry armoire in here, although I do have another jewelry box in our bedroom as well. So those are the things that I kind of use this room for. All of my clothing is in the master bedroom closet because it all pretty much fits in there. I do have a little bit of clothing in this closet, which I'll show you, um, but it's pretty much like professional clothing, which I don't really need to use these days. Uh, but I'll give you a quick tour and show you around, and it's just in a continual state of evolving, so I'll probably show you some updated tours a few months from now as I kind of refresh things and get things more to what I want, but this is the purse room. So I have pulled the tripod back over by the door where you enter and I will kind of show you a full 360 of the room, but I wanted to show this side of the room, which you guys will be seeing when I'm doing reviews and that sort of thing, a little bit better. So the chair just arrived. I ordered that from JCPenney's. It is not the original chair that I was looking at. <laughs> um, the story behind the chair is I was actually looking at a chair from Ballard Designs. I pretty much narrowed down which fabric I was going to use. And right before Christmas, JCPenney had a huge sale on this particular type of chair. It was the style that I wanted as far as pulling out into a twin sleeper. And the price was so amazing, I could not pass it up. Now, I did miss when I ordered it because I didn't have time to order fabric samples. The sale was literally a few days long. I did miss, however, that the chair was a microfiber fabric. So it's kind of like a faux suede or whatever. So it does kind of annoy me that it leaves fingerprints. But other than that, I love the color and it was the general idea of what I was going for with the one from Ballard Designs and actually a lot more economical. So I was very excited to find it on sale and I'm glad that it finally arrived also. And so I will go ahead and take you around the room a little bit and then here next to the chair is a little table that I got at Pier 1. This is also from the Hayworth collection so it matches the armoire that I have in the side of the room. And this is a really great nightstand table because it doubles as extra storage. This just has a, a drawer here that pulls out. And then it has two shelves down here. I'm actually using this as auxiliary purse storage. Some of my flatter bags that fold flat I'm keeping down here. So I actually just leave the doors open on this right now until I figure out a better storage solution for these bags. So that way the leather can breathe and that sort of thing. But all of the flat bags that I have, I have sitting in there. And then I just leave the doors open when it's not in use. But I'll close them now as we go around the room. And then up here I just have a picture of the girls and a book that I've had for a really long time, a 501 Must Visit Destinations. It's got some gorgeous pictures in there. Then a couple little things on the table that I found at Hobby Lobby that I showed in a haul on my other channel yesterday. 
And then up here are the prints by Lauren Muir. I found her a long time ago and I've been pinning her pictures. I have absolutely loved her artwork for quite some time. So I ended up ordering these prints from her Etsy shop and I had these delivered around Black Friday and then I just went and got the frames for them at Hobby Lobby the other day. So this is a kind of espresso frame that has a silver inset on it. You can kind of just see the glare from the light, so I'll come over here. It has a really nice little silver detail on the inset, so it kind of helps it pop in person. And then that one just is a silver frame with a hot pink dress. And then this one down here, I love this one. This is probably my favorite out of the three pictures. It's a sleeveless purple watercolor um, print and then this frame it has like a silver sheen to it which doesn't really show up on cameras very well but you can kind of see as it catches the light it has um, some detail here in the middle and it also has a silver sheen to it so this is the chair that I've been talking about forever finally arrived and I think I talked a little bit of the beginning about the kind of saga with the chair it wasn't the original one that I was looking at and pinning um, but I got an amazing deal on it so it is really comfortable and I think it's gonna work great as a reading chair and it's great because it pulls out into a bed down here so it'll be extra space for guests the pillow in the middle I've had forever and I actually have some other pillows on the way here um, from Joss and Maine and then the other two I've ordered for the room specifically they are by Deny D-E-N-Y designs and I believe they're just called the lavender print something to that effect I really like those then kind of the gem or the main part of the room is my purse cabinet I just have some extra boxes over here to the side and then I've had a dedicated video specifically to this cabinet so I won't talk about it too long since I'm trying to talk about the whole room in this video but this is from Home Decorators Collection Essex Book case cabinet and I really like that it has the glass doors on there so you can display the bags without worrying about them getting too much dust and that sort of thing. There is a little bit of space, a little bit of a gap for air to get in and out which I like so that way the bags can breathe and I just have my smaller accessories up here at the top, my Rebecca Minkoff morning after clutches and then little small makeup cases and clutches here, uh, my Tavoli GM and Marc Jacobs bag that I really like and the multi pockets the large size then on this shelf I have my Palermo and the Luminous the next shelf down I have my Alma PM and then also my Brea the last full shelf for bags I have two Rebecca Minkoff bags and at the very bottom I'm using it to store different accessories there's just some pouches down here there's wallets right here way back here in the back I don't think you'll be able to see but there's um, all my extra Tiffany boxes I keep all my Tiffany jewelry elsewhere but all the boxes are right there and just some more accessories so this cabinet has worked out fantastic and I absolutely am loving it I just it was exactly what I had in mind for the presentation as far as how I wanted it to look and I'm just really loving it. Over here to the side I have a few boxes. There's two Balenciaga boxes and a Louis Vuitton box. I don't know that these are going to honestly stay. Um, they're empty. I just, you know, had them out here for decoration. Um, you know, it, it's alright for right now. I'm really trying to decide what to do with this corner, so if you have any opinions, let me know. Um, I was thinking about putting a full-size, like, freestanding mirror here. But if I felt like I needed extra storage space, little drawers, or another shorter cabinet, uh, I could always use that little space right here for that. So I'm really trying to decide what to use for that space right there because it's really kind of the last piece of real estate in the room. <laughs> and then down here I just have a Louis Vuitton box. Uh, this actually does have a handbag in it. And then I have some extra little books sitting on top. And this is why I kind of feel like I'm going to need some extra storage space because I'm wanting to use this room for reading as well. So I almost feel like I need a short bookcase for some extra bags and then also for books, like actual books. So I feel like I might need like a three shelf bookcase here. In which case I'll have to find a different spot, like maybe behind the door for a mirror. Over here is the Hayworth armoire that I had in our bedroom at our old house. And so I've just moved it here in the corner. It's a really, really gorgeous piece. And I just have on the top my little um, purse sign that says a fabulous purse is a true companion. And then this is just extra storage. It's basically empty, but it's got like my tripod um, holder and things like that. So this opens up, and I have a full review of this. I'll link down below, but it has really great storage. I love this armoire. It is just really, really nice. 
And so over here I have my makeup area and you can kind of see the door to the rooms over there and that's the tripod I had set up to do um, the beginning of the video. I have my little couture picture up here that I had in my closet before. And then this vanity pretty much looks the same for the most part, other than I've added this little decorative box and I'm putting my Naked 3, Naked 2, and Original Naked palette in here. They fit perfectly down inside. I've got my Muji drawers over here to the side. I ordered this from Fantasy Bridal on Etsy, I believe is the name, and I really like these coverings. I've gotten some from my daughter's dresser as well. Uh, this one seems like it may be a little bit busy for this area, so I may be looking for just more of a solid, you know, like pink or purple one type of thing in the future. And then this is my light. This is Conair. It has a number of different settings, and I've gotten asked this a lot in past videos where I found this. I got this on Amazon. Over here are storage containers from Space Savers or the Container Store. These are really great. I have these in a ton of rooms in our house, the girls' rooms and everything like that. And I just keep all of my lip products over here, all of my face products down here. And then I just have extra lip product storage there on the top. And this light I actually usually keep below. This is just something I use for extra lighting when I'm filming like myself sitting in the chair. And it kind of causes a lot of shadows and things like that behind me. So I may have to invest in a little bit better lighting this year. But that's what I use for now. So this is my makeup vanity. And this is not normally up there. It would normally be stored in the corner of the room. Down here I just have my little Resenthal basket. This has products that I'm getting ready to try out and use. And I'm also going to be getting another one of those to take up and down the stairs. Underneath I just have my waste basket in the corner and then I have um, our camera bag where I store the camera that I'm using right now. And then these are three uh, boxes, decorative boxes, which I store different paperwork and I'm going to keep extra makeup and things like that in some of those. Over here I have a little bin. I used to have in the bathroom at the old house and I'm going to be storing just different magazines and things like that that I want to read in there. So this is pretty much that side of the room looking back that direction. Alright, and going around the room this way. Now this corner is kind of the corner I still need to figure out what to do with these items. My suitcase was so big. This is kind of like a suitcase inside a suitcase inside a suitcase. And the outer suitcase is so big that it's too big to fit in this closet, which I originally had just planned on placing it in the closet. And then also my DVD collection really doesn't need to be in here because there's no TV in here. It's just all my DVDs that I really didn't know where else to put. So those two things may not stay in here long term. We may put some additional, maybe like a bookcase over here to put all the books. Maybe some extra bake storage could go back here. So I'm really trying to decide what to do with that side of the room right now. But this is the area where I'm going to do my little charm wall. And I just have... A couple little charms up there so far. I have the little key, a little fleur de lis, and an H for my last name. And then I have a lamp sitting on here. And this, I don't know if you can see it with it turned on, but it has um, the script print. Yeah, you can see it a lot better with the light off. Just kind of a little pair of script print. I'm actually planning on getting a little uh, ottoman that will be storage also to go here in front of the chair. And it'll be the same pair of script print as well. It has not been ordered yet, but I just found it the other day at Home Decorators Collection. Down here is the perfume little tray that I had at our house previous. I've got my favorite champagne toast candle right there. A couple of my favorite perfumes. These are pretty much the ones I'm wearing right now. And then a little uh, faux flower thing that I found at Michael's the other day. And a little cute bird dish that I found at Hobby Lobby the other day. In here I have a lot of extra storage. I keep my smaller accessories in here, my smaller accessory boxes, uh, Rebecca Minkoff pouches, just some extra things down in here. All the extra camera accessories are down in here, extra lens and all that. And then the next row down I keep like gifts, like things I've bought for gifts for people or extra bags, my travel makeup cases in here and just extra things and then this was the one that arrived broken from Target and they sorted it out for me. My husband worked to kind of fix this. He's still got to do a few more things but it's temporarily at least the drawers will slide out now and these are things for my daughters that I've bought to kind of put up for the future to give them as gifts and I have extra um, dance things down here. I have a lot of dance figures and things like that. I used to be a dancer so I've stored some of my extra point shoes and things like that down there. 
And then over to the closet. The closet still needs to get sorted out. You can kind of see where it is. It's right here to the side of this table. And I just have a pair of point shoes hanging off of the door a long time ago. It seems like another life ago, honestly. I used to be a dancer and these were my very first pair of point shoes. This is number one. So I saved, you You know, when you, when you do point, you have so many pairs of shoes. There's no way you can save them all, but I saved my very first pair and then I kind of saved like number two and then some later on ones and then the rest of them I got rid of. But anyhow, um, this is the closet. This still needs some work in here. <laughs> this, this is the area that I'm still working on. So up here at the top I have those container store containers that I used at the last house at the top of my closet. And I've got some extra bags up here. There's some coach bags in here, some Longchamp tote bags um, back here in the corner. There is a Rebecca Mingoff bag in here, my coach dust bag for the bag I'm using now, and, Rebecca, or and the Kate Spade bag right here. This is all of the extra like suit coats and things that I don't have a need for right now in my daily life. But I didn't really want to get rid of. So I may get the huggable hangers and put the huggable hangers in here to kind of condense things down. Or I may just decide to donate them. You know, as a stay-at-home mom, I don't really have a need for suits. So there's really maybe then other just one or two of my favorites. No reason to hang on to them right now. These are all clothes for my kids that they have outgrown um, that are either like customs that are nice enough to be resold or in here for some reason like that. Most of their clothes, if it's just like play clothes, I'll donate, but if it's a custom, they're a little bit more expensive, I'll uh, put those in the resale market. And then this is my nail polish station. I got this really cool peacock picture that says everything beautiful. I found that at Hobby Lobby and I love it. I just ordered this nail polish station off of Amazon and it is full. You guys can tell I love Zoya. So I organized everything by color, at least tried to. So I have all my more neutral tone tans and pinks here, brighter pinks on this level, all of my purples here, blues and greens down here, and then OPIs are down here at the bottom. At the top I've got some Butter London polishes, some Dior's over here to the side and just some random brands in between. Obviously you can tell what my favorite brand of nail polish is. Nail polish rack is working out great. I actually had more polish than fit in it. So I have down here in this mess at the bottom, there's a bin with more polish in it. And I actually have a bin with polish in my master bedroom that is like brand new, never used, that I have set aside for gifts. The mess down here at the bottom all needs to get sorted out. It probably looks even worse on camera than it does in real life. But there's an organizer right here, and then over here there's just a row of bins and a stack of Cincy um, things right here. And then there's like extra things, like extra gifts for my girls that I've held back to give them later. So there's like an extra Build-A-Bear right here, an extra American Girl doll right there. Um, my old diaper bag, which I don't really need at all right now, but I don't want to get rid of in case we have another child. And then my um, scrapbooking stuff, which I honestly don't have time to do anymore. So this still could use a bit of organizing down there, but it's kind of like I've worked my way towards the closet, basically. But I just got the nail polish container, or my husband just put it up for me uh, a couple weeks ago, and I love this. So I used to have the flat containers, if you watch my other channel, the... Um, master bedroom or master bathroom tour that I did. I used to have them in this sitting out and it worked really well for the master bathroom closet because we had a huge closet in there. We don't have that sort of thing at this house. So I had to, you know, change my system. And if you have a wall or if you've been thinking about doing this, I would so recommend doing it. It's so easy to see what colors you have. I just absolutely love it. You can see I've stuck little star stickers on my favorites. It's just, it's working out great. So that is the closet. I didn't mean to stay in the closet that long since it's such a mess, but that's what the closet looks like. I won't talk about it too long because I don't want to blind you, but this is the light fixture for the room. It's from Ballard Designs and I absolutely love it. I looked at a number of different light fixtures and when I found this one I just knew that this was the right so one. So it's kind of an antique silver color and I just really, really love it. I think it just finishes off the room really nicely. So as you look around the room, that is pretty much what the room looks like. And it's a fairly small bedroom. I'd say it's probably like 12 by 12 or something like that. So, but I feel like I'm just trying to utilize the space and make it as multifunctional as possible. And it's really working out for me so well. I'm really enjoying having my own girl space to have all of my girl items in. And it's working out really, really great. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tour around my new dressing room and I'm really enjoying being in this room and having my own space in my new Bubbles boudoir. So hopefully it was fun for you guys to see the whole space even though you normally just see this kind of area over here. But that's what's going on on the other side of the room. It's basically my makeup, my jewelry area, and the little storage area over to the side. So I'll update you in a few months or so as I kind of add things and maybe change things. Figure out where I'm going to put a bookcase and that sort of thing. So I still have some things to do in the room yet. Still I want to order some things like the little ottoman for the floor. I want to put a full length mirror in the room somewhere. And then I also think I need at least one more small bookcase or some sort of storage item for bags and books. So I've got to figure that out so far, but this is what I have so far for my dressing room, and hopefully you guys are having a great day. Thanks for joining me today, and I will see you soon in some future videos. Bye!